Okay, here we go, 4.6.5 uh, journal for geometry semester two. As always, make sure your name and date are on the assignment. View the video found on page one of this journal activity. <clears throat> if you haven't already watched it, go back and watch this video, please, so you can get the background information. Okay, I've pre-filled out this uh, chart here. Complete the table to summarize what you know about each student's position. Um, Joy thinks that they should buy the extra large tub of popcorn. She thinks that the extra large tub will be the best value because it's the biggest. John thinks they should buy 10 separate pop cones and he thinks this is the best value because they are the cheapest. Question two, what size popcorn do you expect will have the best value for the money and why? Uh, there's no wrong answer here. Please write down which one you expect will have the best value and also give a reason why you think that would be the best value. Again, no wrong answer, so just write something down. Complete sentences, please. Fill in the chart with what you know about the shapes of the popcorn containers. Okay, the extra large tub, this shape is a cylinder. Uh, the dimensions of the base. Okay, the base is going to be a circular base because it's a cylinder, and we know that the diameter is 10 inches. This information comes from the video. Uh, the height of the cylinder we know is also 10 inches. The price of this um, tub of popcorn is $9.99. Again, just pulling all this from the video. The regular size, uh, this shape is a rectangular prism. That's not a Z. Prism spelled with an S. That's supposed to be an S. <laughs> um, dimensions of the base. The base is rectangular, uh, so it's a, a rectangular prism, so it's a rectangle, and this measures five inches by three inches. Height of the shape is eight inches, and the cost is $1.99. Uh, pop cones, the container shape will be a cone. The shape is also a, um, a circle. Okay, if you can think of a cone, what they're referring to is, is essentially this. Um, the cone's gonna look something like this, right? And if you flip it around or upside down, uh, same thing, so the base being circular. Um, and they told us that it, the cone has a diameter of five inches. Height of the cone is also eight inches. Price of the cone, 99 cents. All right, what is the volume of the extra large tub? Let's pull the volume formula for a cylinder and the volume of any cylinder um, is pi r squared times h. r being the radius, h being the height. So let's plug in our values. The volume is going to be pi is 3.14. The radius, well, if the diameter is 10, that means the radius is five squared and the height is eight. Oh, sorry, height is 10. Okay. Um, one more step. I'm just going to square the 5. So we're going to have 3.14 times 25 times 10. And let's see what we end up with. 3.14 times 25 times 10. 785 inches cubed. Volume equals 785 inches cubed. What is the price per cubic inch of the extra large tub? Okay, so um, price per inch, we're gonna be doing essentially a unit rate conversion. So um, what we do is from the lesson, we take the price, we divide the volume, and we'll have the price per cubic inch. So price 9.99 going to divide that by the volume, which is 785 inches cubed. We 
we get 0 0.0127. That's where I'll round it. So we get equals 0.0127. So uh, this is about one cent, okay? So if we were dealing with money, this would be about one cent. Uh, and then you've got kind of a little remainder for that penny. Um, one cent, thousands places two, ten thousands places seven. Let's go ahead and keep this as our answer because these extra decimal places are going to come into play when we start comparing the, the, the price. Okay, so the cost here is just over one cent per cubic inch. What is the volume of the regular size popcorn? Uh, well, volume formula for a rectangular prism is area of the base, so area of the rectangle, which is length times width, multiplied by the height. So the volume is gonna be length times width times height. Let's substitute in. Length and width of the base is five times three, and the height is eight. Therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism, five, is 120 inches cubed. Price per cubic inch of the regular size. So again, we're going to do price divided by volume. Um, then the price, of course, was 199. Volume was 120 inches cubed. So here we go. Okay, price per cubic inch is 0 0.016. Uh, I'm going to round this up, 0 0.016. I'm going to round this to a 6 because the next digit is an 8. What? So, again, that's just over 1 cent, but it's slightly more than the extra large tub, if you recall. Extra large tub was cheaper, right? It was uh, 1 cent and 27 uh, ten thousandths, we can say, and this is 1 cent and 66 thousandths. So, although it's very, very minor, uh, if we're still comparing greater or less than, uh, the, the XL tub was cheaper. Um, but let's note that this is this much per cubic inch. Volume of the pop cone. Well, we need the volume of a cone formula. Volume of a cone is one third pi r squared h. It's essentially a cylinder's volume but then we take a little bit less because obviously the cone has less volume than a full cylinder. So we take a third of the cylinder's volume. Volume equals one third, pi is 3.14. The radius, so if the diameter, recall the diameter was five, therefore the radius is two and a half squared times the height and the height was eight inches. Volume equals one third, 3.14, 2.5 squared, don't call that five, 2.5 times itself is 6.25 times eight. And let's go ahead and calculate this and see what we get. Multiplying by a third is the same as dividing by three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply all of this and after I get my value, I'll then divide it by three. 3.14 multiply 6.25 times 8. Okay, here's my value, 157. Now let's divide that by 3. And the volume equals 52.33 inches cubed. Price per cubic inch, we know it's price divided by volume, same procedure, so we have 99 cents divided by the volume. And this, this price is about 0 0.01, I'm gonna call it 89. 
So again, more than a cent, uh, and this is per cubic inch. Who was correct? Which size is the best deal? How should Joy and John, John spend the $10? Okay, so recall the extra large tub <clears throat> uh, was a price of 0127. The regular size rectangular prism was a price of 0 0.01. Are you? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> it's one six six, and the pop cone point zero one eight nine. Um, okay, so we're comparing since zero one is all consistent here. It's just over a cent. We're comparing the two seven six six eight nine. Clearly, this is less than this, which is less than this. So. This is the least, this is the cheapest. Which size is the best deal? Um, the extra large tub is the best deal. Okay, it's the cheapest per cubic inch. How should jo Joy and John spend the $10? Well. Um, Joy and John should buy the XL tub and split it. Okay, I have two answers here. Um, who was correct? Um, oh, I didn't even state that. Um, we can say Joy was correct. Okay. Which size is the best deal? The XL tub is the best deal. How should they spend the money? They should buy the XL tub and split it. Eleven, how many pop cones would you have to buy to equal the volume of an XL tub? Um, we just need to take the volume, the greater volume, so the volume of the extra large tub and we'll divide that by the volume of one pop cone. And this will tell us how many pop cones um, would, it would take to fill or to reach the volume of an XL tub. So um, the volume of the extra large tub was 785 inches cubed. Volume of a pop cone was 52.33. So how many would it take? Let's see, 785 divide 52.33, um, 15.00095, so about 15. So about 15 pop cones would equal the volume of one large tub. 2 students shares one regular size popcorn how many cups of popcorn will each student get okay let's take the volume of a regular size popcorn volume of regular size and let's divide that by how many how many cubic inches are in one cup so we have 120, that's the volume of the regular size, divided by a, a cup. 120 divide 14.4. That says that there are about 8.33 um, cups uh, in a regular size. And now if, if this is being split between two students, um, then we're gonna say, let's divide this by two to see how much each, each one of those students gets. So uh, 8.33, I'll go ahead and 8.33, divide by two, it's about, so there's about 
4.17 cups per student, cups per one student. Okay, because again, this was per two students, so this is per one student. All right, guys, hope that's helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.